Carolinas are rattling with earthquakes. North Carolina magnitude 2.4, South Carolina 2.25 hours later. Please keep your eye on the map. As you see here, right here, just north of Florida, you see the magma there? That's magma there. Of course, here the map doesn't show the magma underneath the mid-continental rift, which is straddling the Great Lakes, but let's keep our eye on the Carolinas there. We have magma under there. Let's go see the maps. We're going to go to our map. This is the 2.2 South Carolina. One person reported feeling it. And this is our map right here. You can see the North Carolina quake right here, 2.4 at um, UTC 259, local time 10.59 p.m. And actually, there's a couple of them here, 1.8 in Tennessee, but we're looking at this one here. Okay, North Carolina, 2.2, it was about uh, five hours before that, okay, Flat Rock, North Carolina, one person reported feeling this one, the 2.4, South Carolina, 504 people reported feeling this, South Carolina, right there, unfortunately, as they told us many a time, they don't have the knowledge of where these faults are. But as we saw before, let's go to our aerial. Okay, this is where we have the mantle, the magma under there. We saw that in our map. And this is the Great Lakes area that we saw. The mid-continental rift is right here like this. The western part goes through... Uh, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Tennessee. And the eastern part goes around the New Madrid seismic zone area right here. It's like a horseshoe. And there's magma under there. They don't know where it's coming from, but they know that they have magma under there. And we have magma under here too. That's where we have our South Carolina earthquake, the 2.4. North Carolina 2.2. South Carolina 2.4. And the details of this, 504 people reported, and obviously they don't have a shake map, unfortunately. It's light, but a lot of people have reported it. Charleston and surroundings devastated in 1886 by a very large earthquake, 7.3 magnitude. Aftershocks, some of them large enough to be damaged by themselves continued for years, of course, because when you have a large quake like that, you're going to have aftershocks. Prehistoric earthquakes of similar size in 1886 shock have occurred in coastal South Carolina at intervals of several centuries to several, several thousands of years. In recent decades, smaller earthquakes that caused little or no damage have been felt roughly once a year in coastal South Carolina and a small part of adjacent Georgia. Earthquakes in the central and eastern U.S., although less frequent than the west, typically felt over a much broader region. East of the Rockies, an earthquake can be felt over an area as much as 10 times larger than a similar magnitude earthquake on the west coast. The magnitude 4 east typically can be felt at many places as far as 60 miles from where it occurred, and it infrequently causes damage near its source. A magnitude 5.5 east usually can be felt 300 miles from where it occurred, sometimes causing damage as far away as 25 miles. As for the faults, earthquakes everywhere occur on faults with bedrock usually miles deep. Most bedrock beneath the Charleston area was assembled as continents collided to form the supercontinent 500 to 300 million years ago, raising the Appalachian Mountains. Most of the rest of the bedrock formed when the supercontinent rifted apart 200 million years ago to form what we now no, the southeastern United States, Atlantic Ocean, and Africa. So this is the, um, let's go down to North Carolina. One person reported feeling that. And basically, since the, at least 1776, people living inland in North and South Carolina and adjacent parts of Georgia and Tennessee felt small earthquakes and suffered damage from infrequent larger ones 
Larger earthquake in the area, 5.1, occurred in 1916. Moderately damaging earthquakes strike inland Carolinas every few decades, and smaller earthquakes felt about once a year or two. Earthquakes in central United States, as we said before, can be felt in a much broader, broader region. East of the Rockies, earthquake can be felt over an area as much 10 times larger than a similar magnitude earthquake on the west coast. That's because it's softer. The sediment is softer. Okay, so this is what we're having. This is, of course, the New Madrid seismic zone, which is rift. It's a rift valley, the real foot rift. And we do have an uptick of earthquakes on the New Madrid seismic rift valley, from what the geologists have been telling us. Okay, so uh, we noticed that a couple of days ago, yesterday we had this. Okay, a couple of days ago, yes, Glen Falls, New York. They felt that all the way down to Manhattan. Let's go again. I think we had the shake. There's a shake mat. Okay. There's a shake mat. Let's go to the aerial. And you'll see that, unfortunately, it stops at a, it stops at a, um, at a, a, a square area. But if you were to extrapolate these, these lines here, they would go over all the way to Manhattan, even though it was a 3.1. Okay, they did shake it. There were people that said that they felt booms, like sonic booms, and uh, shaking of their house. Okay? So that was a 3.1. It was felt all the way down here, from what people were saying, from the video we made uh, the day before. Okay. And as we said before, this is the area of where they had the, um, okay, the area of the, Magma underneath, right there. Okay. And as we know, here we have the East Coast Seamount of 30 volcanoes. And it's not surprising, we have five volcanoes in Maine. And it's not surprising that a lot of this pressure is also hitting this area of the East Coast. But you know, 3.1 feeling all the way down to. Uh, the Long Island area is very uh, unusual, extraordinary. So all of you there, please be very careful, and God bless you, and uh, all prayers are for everybody in the world, especially in these trying times, which are also very holy times. It's the Lenten season before Easter. All right, so I'll leave links below for you for this on um, Sizemore Berkeley. Thank you for your support. Again, here is the uh, area that we had the earthquake of uh, South Carolina. You can see that line just uh, northwest of that going through the area of North Carolina. And you can even see the area of upstate New York around the St. Lawrence to the north of that, where we had the earthquake a couple of days ago, 3.1. That's magma under there. But uh, they do not show, as we said before, the magma straggling the Great Lakes, which is the mid-continental rift. This is what it looks like, basically. But uh, the eastern part goes all the way underneath the New Madrid seismic area as well. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota. And we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.